Welcome back to The Chain Show here with Simon Phillips. I have a very special guest today, Simon Etherington, who I believe his official title is Chief Strategist and Implementer at the GC Index. Hi, Simon. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thank you, Simon. Thanks very much for uh, having me on the show today. Ah, my pleasure. I love your Zoom background, by the way. So t you're going to have to explain a bit later all about those numbers, but um, very colourful. So first question, how long you've been involved with the GC Index? Um, since about four years now. Um, mm. I mean, it's my first time I've, I've been involved in what I would call the people space. Um, so I've been in traditional business, um, corporate business before, but this is, this is very different. And I've always felt in my career that there's that extra edge that says, how can we get the best out of people? And this is, this is kind of helping, which is, which is great. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. As, as you know, I've done a few shows with Dr. John, the, yeah chief psychologist behind the tool and we've had some fun trying to work out who the different musicians are on the on the uh, on the wheel but we'll come back to music later so tell the listeners and the viewers simon a little bit about you okay well i i guess i started out in my career um at ibm which um was very formative actually because in those days this is uh, in the middle 80s, IBM believed that salespeople, sell, the sales function was a profession. And mm. so they spent a lot of time and effort training people up um, to be professional salespeople. In fact, you could get a very high career going through um, within sales within IBM. And that kind of led me, if you had to start with, to say that sales is something which sometimes people think of as a, as a bad thing. But for me, it was a profession. It was had certain training. We went through two hours of sorry, two years of training before we even got to go and see a client at uh, IBM. So it was very much uh, looking at how we could present the company in the best way. I think that's probably yeah. the, the best way of looking at it. Um, and having been there for 10 years, I, I got my uh, I got my 10 year clock. And at the same meeting with my manager, I said that I'm, I'm sorry, I'm leaving now. So I, I felt that I needed to to broaden my my experience, etc. Yeah. And I then spent 11 years at SAP. Now, again, SAP, very formative for me because SAP is all about understanding business processes. So they were mapping out assets, basically, and assets being people, property, any kind of um, element that we were looking to, to sell or to promote. And it was mapping out that business process. And therefore, that really helps me understand how do companies work, you know, what, mm -hmm. what's important to them. And also it started to say that data was a really huge part of this. If we could have view and an access to common data that we could all use, then that was brilliant. And it was the ability to start understanding our businesses in a much better way. I was fortunate enough to end up on the exec board of, of SAP in the UK for four of those years and, and I really loved the company. It was fantastic. And then I left to really start to head up, I guess, a couple of a couple of software companies. The last one was a company that I, I kind of ran in the UK and we we ended up selling the business for a, a billion euros. And that was a great experience as well in its own right. And having done that, I actually knew the founders. I knew Dr. John, I knew Nathan. <laughs> In fact, they used to be surprised to me when I was at SAP, which is quite interesting. And uh, they said, look, what are you up to? Why don't you come and have a look and see what we're up to here? And so I did, got under the covers of it. I thought the GCNX was absolutely amazing. And now I'm, I'm part of the business and thoroughly enjoying it. They lured you in. <laughs> they did lure me in, yeah. It literally was like that. So, uh, and I'm very happy they did as well, which is great. Yeah. It does seem to have that effect on people in terms of the, you know, the, the sheer power of the model. You immediately get it. And as you say, I mean, you're you're somebody who's not necessarily from a background where it was always focused on people, but you could still see the value of it straight away. Yeah, absolutely. I can remember when I was at SAP, I brought Myers-Briggs into my part of the business and uh, mm. I loved, loved Myers-Briggs. It was, it was a great way of understanding individuals, etc. But I'd been using it for about 20 years or so, and I'd realized that I'd never made a business decision using it. So how, how are we going to use this data about people to really help us drive forward what we're trying to achieve in our organizations? And this is where the difference is. Now we've got this data which we can use basically to help any kind of business decision. It's that, that final piece of the jigsaw for me. You know, I've gone through my career, uh, enjoying my career, but also trying to work out what's that, that last 5% that we can really make a difference on. This is it for me. So as a stress implementer, how would you say that's guided you through your career for the for the business decisions that you've made personally, do you think? Well, of course, I didn't know I was a strategist implementer oh. until about four years ago. But 
once I did find out about this and understood myself a bit more, it made sense of my career. And that's mm -hmm. another thing that people are seeing some value in because in fact, my favorite saying has always been, I love it when a plan comes together, which for those mm -hmm. of you old enough is from the A-team. If that's not a strategist implement of saying, I, I don't know what is. So when I look back now, I can see in my career areas where reasons I was successful in a particular role, but also where I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, and, and maybe I, I moved on from different roles because of that as well. So mm -hmm. it's definitely made sense of my career from that perspective, yes.